Let's talk about the dangers of ultra-low fat diets. I'm talking about a diet that the fats make up only 15% of your total calories. The diet that I recommend has fat making up about 70% of your total calories. Now, why is that? Because there's a lot of things in fat that we need. Fat-soluble vitamins, essential fatty acids. Fats are needed to make structural parts of our tissue, including all the cell membranes. And that's why they call certain fats essential fatty acids, because fats that you need that you have to get from the diet, your body can't make them. All right, number one, you're gonna get a decrease in the fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, and K. And the consequences of these deficiencies are very vast. Vitamin A, immune system, vision at night, vitamin D, immune system, keeping viruses in check, keeping your inflammation down, helping calcium be absorbed, vitamin E essential for the heart and for hormone health, vitamin K to help you stop bleeding, also vitamin K2 to transport calcium out of the soft tissues. All right, number two, risk of mental problems. Your brain is mostly made out of fat. Your nerves are insulated with a fat lining. So if we don't have the structural components for the brain and the nerves, your mood suffers and your cognitive function suffers greatly. All right, number three, increased risk of cancer because you're not gonna have the essential fatty acids to help your immune system. All right, next thing is decrease in HDL. That's the so-called good cholesterol. That usually goes down with an increase in triglycerides. Number five, when you decrease dietary fat, a person will automatically increase carbohydrates. Not a good combination. And by the way, Americans have already tried the low-fat, high-carb diet for years, and we know it just does not work. All right, number six, you're never gonna be satisfied. You're always gonna be hungry. Not a good combination if you wanna to stick to any type of healthy eating plan. All right, number seven, if you actually lower your fat, and raise your protein, it's really hard on the liver and the kidney, and it will also increase the spike of insulin. So you always wanna consume the normal fat that comes along with the protein and not do lean protein or low fat protein. All right guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to click on this next video on the quantities and the types of fat you need to be consuming. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, 
if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.